Hi everybody, Russ on the West Ham Network. Hope you're all safe and well. Happy Monday. Happy Halloween as well. Ooh, spooky. And it was plenty of tricks, but not enough treats. Yesterday at Old Trafford, um, I did my review um, of the game and highlights, all that type of thing. Uh, this, this afternoon at lunchtime to check that out, see if you all disagree, because you all do anyway. Uh, I present you today the Hammers headlines for the 31st of October in association with the KUMB.com boys. Thought we'd throw in some transfer stories and stuff, because why not? We've only got three games left into the World Cup, really. Three, no, four games left into the World Cup. Bucharest on um, on Thursday, and then we've got Palace, Blackburn, Leicester. Three games at home in six days. It's going to be busy. Going to be busy. So we need some recruitments, and maybe we need some more in January. Let's start with this gentleman, Hugo. <laughs> I was saying we don't talk about Bruno, but no, we don't talk about Hugo. So apparently West Ham allegedly keen to sign Valencia midfielder Hugo Guillemon in the January transfer window. That's according to a report from 90 Minutes, who claim that the Hammers are keeping tabs on the 22-year-old talented Valencia ace. And I thought, actually, it's quite good of Halloween because Valencia have got like a bat on their badge, haven't they? Um, West Ham boss Moyes is boost, trying to boost his central midfield ranks and tried it in the summer by signing Flynn Downs, but maybe the form of someone like Thomas Suchek, um seems that he's uh, intent on adding more quality in that section, in that engine room, um, and having more options. And 90 Minutes claim the Hammers are keeping an eye on the Valencia star ahead of the January transfer window. Uh, Mundo Deportivo claim that the Guillemon's current contract uh, with Valencia has a 43 million euro, no, sorry, 43 million pounds, 50 million euro release clause included. Um, He's, an, he's a Spanish international, an unbelievable player, says some journalists. Um, I think he'd be a fantastic player. Um, a defensive midfielder by trade, um, but can also operate at centre-back if need be. Hey, there's a surprise. Um, like most Spanish players, technically very gifted, incredibly comfortable on the ball. Um, £43 million pounds sounds like a lot of money, particularly for someone who's not um, proven in the Premier League. But maybe uh, a little... Uh, a little Little deal potentially. He'd be sensational, I think, if we if we had a uh, if we had him in the, in our ranks at the London Stadium. But we'll shall see. We shall see. Just just reporting it. Just reporting it. Um, and we'll start the list for January soon. So you see how many ridiculous rumours. Uh, uh, in terms of another player we've been linked with over the weekend, West Ham find themselves apparently in a three-way Premier League race to sign uh, FC Michelac's. Uh, Michelat's winger Gustav Isaacson, 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 Gustav Isaacson. According to reports in the last sort of forty-eight cents two hours, um, obviously with January approaching, we need some reinforcements, particularly on the wings. I think, particularly on the right wing, I'd suggest with, with Jared Bowen, our only real um, winger uh, on that side. Obviously, we've got Corne, um, but where's Corne? Who knows? But according to a report from <coughs> Calcio Mercato, West Ham are looking at signing uh, Gustav alongside the likes of uh, Newcastle, surprise, surprise, and Arsenal, as well as Italian clubs such as Inter Mil so AC Milan and Fiorentina looking at him. It was reported earlier this month that we had been scouting a 21-year-old in action uh, for his club. He's made 150 appearances for the Danish club across the senior and youth science. He scored 37 goals, 21 assists, highlighting how much of an attacking threat he is. Very little tricky winger. Um, very, very quick as well. Um, he's shown his attacking intent on the European stage by scoring three goals in, sorry, three, yeah, scored three goals in five appearances in the Europa League this year. Um, and in fact, his performances across those five games, uh, in terms of his overall ratings, make him the highest rated player at the club. Um, so taking that into account, it's easy to see why clubs have, um, have looked at Gustav um, and he's on their radar. So we'll see what happens. It could be a very smart bit of business. Very smart bit of business. Um, so we'll see. And I think the last player, didn't the last player we signed for him, did he stay for like 10 years, almost 10 years in Winston Reid? Uh, I believe so, although he only played for about six of them. And fine Alamon, two out, but could it be one in? Pretend, one, sorry, one, two, out, two in, one out. It's like the reverse of the Hokey Koki. Um, in Manuel Lanzini. Uh, apparently West Ham are willing to sell him on the cheap in January, according to Football Insider. Um, the Irons are ready to let the playmate, the 29-year-old playmaker, go in the wind to transfer as a look to raise cash following a very busy 
summer of transfer activities. Believed an offer of around 10 million quid could be accepted by West Ham for a player who was once valued at almost five times that. Uh, do you remember Liverpool were offering, looking at him 50 million quid at once? Um, he was apparently free to find a club in January. Uh, in, sorry, in the summer, uh, either on loan or a permanent deal ahead of uh, the, the close of the um, the summer transfer window, but he couldn't agree a deal in time and stay with the club to remain on the fringes of the team. He's been told his, his situation remains the same in terms of how Mr Moyes views him um, and he's free to go in January if a club comes in for him. Um, he doesn't, Moyes, he doesn't regard Lanzini as a, as a first team sort of key player anymore um, and he's not in his long term planning obviously his minutes have been mostly sort of limited to the conference and I imagine he'll probably get some time some minutes at the Blackburn game as well and, um, next week next week yeah next week um, and he started all seven games for West Ham in the Europa Conference two goals 11 games in all competitions as well uh, including that penalty winner against Silkborg last week um, obviously he's been a regular in the Premier League side last season he made 30 appearances but he's been phased out by Mr Moyes as the Scots revamps his squad during the off-season um, He's made 240 appearances for West Ham in his time since joining in 2016. Uh, 31 goals and 27 assists. But the 29 coming to the end of his contract as well. Um, I think uh, you can see you can see that the wheels are turning, aren't they, really, a little bit in terms of that. Um, and that's it, my friends. Um, so thank you very much for your time. Uh, as I say, go back and check out the highlights, uh, the highlights of um, the uh, review show and um, and the ratings. Also, we put up Holly's video yesterday to it all about. Check that out. It's always good fun. And uh, loads of stuff coming up this week. Obviously, we've got the FCSB game on Thursday. So, all the previews for that. Well, it's it's going to be an interesting game, I think that one is. And then, obviously, then we start getting ready for Crystal Palace. Uh, Wednesday night, we may have an next hammer, hopefully, if his internet works. Trevor Morley. Trevor Morley, come and do a Q&A on, thir- on Wednesday, hopefully, if his internet works. Um, and that's it. So, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay healthy. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Ta-ta for now, my friends. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 